Hey, it's Nurse Mike from Simple Nursing. Ever read an NCLEX question and think, what the heck are they even asking me? Well, you're not alone. Those questions are actually built to trick you. That's why we're kicking off this new series using the Simple Nursing Question Bank to show you exactly how to tackle them. Joining me is one of our NCLEX experts, Nurse Allison. Hey everyone, I'll show you how to break down tricky questions, cut the fluff, and find the right answer fast. Let's dive in. Hi everyone, I'm Nurse Allison, and today I'll be breaking down some NCLEX style questions focusing on musculoskeletal pharmacology. And when I do this, we're going to show you not only how to answer these specific questions, but also walk you through the reasoning behind every answer. So we're going to be using the Simple Nursing Question Bank, and these questions are written by current and former item writers for exams. And so what's amazing about this is it's going to give you a realistic view of what to expect on your exams, on either NCLEX or nursing school exams. And what I love is you can also see insights, which allow you to view and track your results and prior performances on every quiz you've taken, so that way you can identify your weakest areas. So first things first, let's pick a topic. today. Like I said, we're going to focus on musculoskeletal pharmacology. I'm going to leave tutor mode on, which essentially is what I like to call study mode. It's going to tell us immediately after the question if we got it right or wrong, which is going to help as we're learning and as we're preparing for our exam. And so that way we can take notes and understand why things are correct or incorrect. And so as you look through, you can see that there's over 4,000 questions in the question bank. So a very vast, robust question bank. Also, you could even filter out through just questions you've gotten incorrect before. So especially say if you had a quiz before on a topic and then now you have an exam coming, you could review some topic areas that you've already struggled with to see have you improved on it and to refresh on some of those areas that you might be weak in. So then you can filter by nursing school topic areas. So I'm going to select pharmacology. And once I select that, then there's all these subtopics that pop up. So there's endless amounts of quiz variations that you can create. And I'm going to select musculoskeletal. And then from here, you can even get more specific in regards to, let's say you just wanted to do medications uh, for gout or our medications for osteoporosis, or say you just wanted to do muscle relaxers. I'll just go ahead and select all of them, see what happens. And then from there, I'm going to select five questions. And it says, what explanation will the registered nurse provide to the client who asked why calcium carbonate was prescribed? So then here it says, this drug will cure you of osteoarthritis. Okay. I don't love that one because it's rare. Anything's going to magically cure us. This drug will help make your bones healthier. Okay. That sounds safe. This drug will prevent you from having a bone fracture. Okay, so especially if you have calcium, that can help to strengthen the bones. So it could potentially help to prevent a fracture. But I do like bones healthier is a little bit up broader. And this drug is what your healthcare provider wants you to take. So that's a little bit dismissive and a little bit authoritative, you know, using like a provider's authority, do what the doctor says or else type of thing. So I think the safest answer sounds like this drug will make your bones healthier. And that's correct. So it shows here again, those rationales, those reasonings, and allows you to see, you know, why it's the correct answer versus why not some of the other answers to help you get better at, you know, different testing strategies and also giving you those helpful tips and rationales. What statement made by the client prescribed carries soap prodol for a muscle strain indicates a need for further teaching by the RN. So anytime it says a need for further teaching, we're actually looking for something incorrect. So Think we're looking for something that's false or something that's wrong, the wrong thing. So it asks, this drug will help relax the muscle in the area of the strain. Okay, that sounds correct. This drug will help decrease muscle spasticity in the area of injury. That sounds correct. This drug can be taken for as long as needed, even if it's two months. Ooh, that one... I feel a little iffy on that because there's a lot of meds that we don't love for people to take long term. It's supposed to be like as needed, you know, short term for that acute injury. And the last one, the med can cause drowsiness. So I will need to get up slowly, especially slow position change. Again, that one sounds safe. So I'm going to go with number three. And that's correct. Again, we're looking for the thing that's incorrect. Again, it gives us that rationale as to why that's incorrect. And that's because it's not recommended to take for more than three weeks. Again, because it can be addictive. And so it gives us that rationale 
why what we picked is correct, especially if we were unsure. It's going to help us to build that confidence and give us that reasoning why it's the correct answer, which is so important at getting better in test taking and for NCLEX success. Which medication will the registered nurse provide the client prescribed allopurinol? Select all the apply. Okay, so allopurinol. I love the memory trick. Allopurinol, A-L-L. They take it all the time for gout. And so the purpose of this drug is to prevent recurrence of gout. So it can reduce gout symptoms, but prevent recurrence of gout. They already have gout. Maybe it can try to make it so that way the gout sort of stays stabilized. But I don't know about recurrence because they... It's going to be something you have chronically. Take this drug with a full glass of water. Well, I do know that it is flushed through the kidneys, so we need to have plenty, plenty of water. So take it with a full glass of water sounds safe. So then also increase fluid intake to at least two to three liters a day. That also sounds safe. So again, with a select all apply, treat like individual true false. When in doubt, go without. If you're unsure, don't pick it, especially because it's that plus minus scoring. And remember, it can be one or all the way up to all answers. But again, you don't want to over select because it'll subtract from the things that you did know. The next one, it is not uncommon to know a body rash, which is insignificant. False. That body rash is talking about Steven Johnson syndrome. Write that down. You absolutely have to know signs of the deadly Steven Johnson syndrome. And it's very significant. We would want to stop taking the meds. And so the next one, the drug will begin working within seven to 10 days of beginning. So most meds don't work that fast. It can take a little bit to get to that therapeutic effect, usually weeks to months. So I don't love that one. So the one that I like the most, I definitely like the two water ones and iffy about the first one, but I'm just going to go with what I know. When in doubt, go without. If you're unsure, don't pick it. Oh, dang it. So I left one point behind, but that's okay. Because again, I still got two of the three possible points. Worse would be to overselect because it would subtract from the things that I did know. But I still got credit for the two things I did know. And so to help me increase my confidence in that that is the right answer, again, I see those rationales that's going to help me to know why I should have picked it and help me feel more confident in the answer for next time. What statement by the registered nurse best explains the action of Risdronate to the client prescribed this for osteoporosis. So it's, we're looking for something true. This drug prevents bone breakdown and increased bone density. Okay, I like that. It's to help with that bone density. Then the next one, this bone repairs all the decades of bone damage. I don't like that one because all the decades, that could be a lot of decades, especially if it's an older adult. And we don't like things too extreme in all the decades of damage, uh, saying that's going to do all repair all damage and make it just like new, that's rare that anything is going to accomplish that. So I don't like that one. This drug will prevent the bones from breaking from any type of fall. Okay, again, I don't like extremes. So any type of fall, really any, like if they fell out of an airplane, fell off a 20-story building, the bones would still be a-okay. That'd be quite a wonder drug if that was the case. So I don't love that one. And then this bone inhibits osteoclast-mediated bone resorption. Okay, it says, which statement by the registered nurse explains the action? So we do want to explain the action of things, but we don't want to use such big medical jargon. It doesn't make us sound smarter. It just makes the patient more confused. Well, it might make us sound smart, but again, the point is to educate our clients. And if we use words that are too medical jargony, then that's not going to have that effect. So I like the first one the best. And that's correct. And again, reading through, you can see the rationales to why things are correct versus incorrect and all those tips and tricks so that we can be more confident if this question comes up again in the future. And for the last one, the registered nurse knows what diagnostic testing will provide data to support the effectiveness of aldrogenate. And so the effectiveness, meaning that it works, our dronates are osteoporosis meds. So the x-rays of long bones. So that would tell us if there's a break or not. Then there's positron emission tomography. I don't even think I remember that is. So when in doubt, let's go without unless we're certain it's none of the other ones a bone density study or a bone scan. All right. So that bone scan, especially so that DEXA scan, that's definitely, oh wait, I was confusing the bone scan with a bone density scan. So let's see why. So this is, knows that specific data and diagnostic testing supports effectiveness of a bone density study. Lots of times they call it a bone density scan. Again, it gives those learning outcomes 
and the rationale wine even gives us a little bit of refresher about the dronates and to take it up with a full glass of water, empty stomach, and stay upright for 30 minutes. So even reminding us of each of those things about the med, even though it wasn't specifically pertaining to this question. So to help us just overall increase our confidence and success. And so again, it would be a, the bone density study supports the effectiveness um, because that test will document if that density is improved because the importance is the density. And so if it's just a bone scan, that can tell us if there's a break or not, but it's the density that we care about because it makes the bones more dense. I read that too quickly. So it's so important to always slow down. But then of course, when you're using the simple nursing quiz bank, it's practice and it's a great time for you to learn. So that way, great reminders help you slow down when it's actually performance time and when you're actually in that test. So that way you can be more successful. And so again, now that we've finished the quiz, you can walk through those results and see things, what are correct and why they're right. And again, that question bank is going to give you that explanation for your mistakes. So that way you can remember them for your exam. And what I love about the simple nursing question bank is it's not just about doing practice questions. It's truly about understanding the concepts and improving your test taking skills. You can create unlimited amount of quizzes, track your progress, even look back at old progress results and focus on the areas where you need the most help. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to check out the Simple Nursing Question Bank. And also, if you are really serious about acing your NCLEX and acing your nursing school exams, subscribe to the channel so you can see even more tips and tricks and to help you on your path to success. Thank you so much for joining. Stick with us. We will stick with the facts so that way the facts stick with you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Did you know you can unlock beautifully handcrafted study guides packed with key points and memory tricks from all our videos? Plus, you'll get access to over 1,200 exclusive videos not on YouTube, all neatly organized by nursing school topic to make that complex nursing knowledge actually stick. You'll also gain thousands of practice questions written by current professors and actual NCLEX writers. So for access to all this and more, click right up here or visit simplenursing.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy studying, and we'll see you in the next videos.